Good day. We're going to deal with probability. It's also one of the cornerstones and key concepts that you need to understand if you want to master statistics. Fortunately for all of us, it's actually a relatively simple concept and you've been actually using it all your life. One of the things is, you know, if you think about the probability it's going to rain today is 60%. That's a probability and you can make decisions. If the probability is 90%, you can make a decision not to go out or at least take an umbrella and a raincoat. But if it's 40%, you might say, you know what, I'm going to risk it and just uh, it's not a big deal. Now, one of the examples I'm actually going to talk through in the lesson is the question of how many fish is in a dam. I know it's a question that you wake up every morning and you want to ask yourself how many fish is in a dam. Well, there are people in the world that actually for them it's extremely important to know it. How do you count the number of fish in a dam? You take them all out, kill them, count them, and then you say, oh, there was that many fish in the dam. You drain the dam. How do you actually do it? Well, they use statistics and a key ingredient of probability. Here's, a, here's my dam with my fish in Nice sushi fish without the sushi, uh, without the uh, um, black liquid that they normally put in the soy sauce, without the soy sauce. So for this experiment, what, how do they do it? What they do is they count the number of fish, about that many. Then they tag them. I'm going to use, and you'll see photos, I've just done the experiment this morning and you'll see how I've done it. I use these things to tag the fish. I put the tagged fish back into the bowl, mix them up, grab another handful of fish and count how many are tagged within this sample. And then I do a simple calculation to extrapolate it to count the number of fish in the total bowl. See you in the lecture.